Living in a daydream. Ooh, such a sweet thing. Welcome back to our channel. We are the Van Caskies. I'm Hillary. And I'm Bob. In today's video, we are gonna give you our first impression of this, I think, amazing van. And this van is a Road Trek Zion. 2023, it's on the Ram Pro Master chassis and it has some pretty cool features. So we are in the Road Trek Zion. It's the first time that we've come across a Road Trek here. And it's a 2023, so it's got the updated, oh wow, ceiling's a little low, gotta step here. So it has the updated like console up front, so it looks actually pretty nice. The, the paint job, we'll show you that in a second, looks good on the exterior. And the overall build quality, it's not too bad. I don't know if I'm super impressed yet, but need to look around a little bit and see. So, so let me start with the bedroom, come on back. This bed, I don't believe it's powered, but this side... You don't think it's powered, huh? Yeah. You think it's just manual? Let's see. Oh, oh, power sofa. Oh! Absolutely powered. So there's a little button right here. Bed comes down. Okay. It's hitting something, so we'll put it back up. But... So this has a nice powered bed that basically slides down, makes this into one big, large bed. Kind of a cool feature that the motorized section is on the side versus the back. So you still have this nice aisle way if you want to, you know, set your beds up and, you know, put stuff in here to store. But then you also have your seat belts on this side so you can, you know, take people along with and kind of have a nice place to travel. Not, not too bad. That's a, a different feature as we've seen before. Um, I like the window shades and coverings. They look pretty cool. Good, good design. These are the slide open windows. So the only issue with these, of course I can't get it to open, but the only issue with these, you know, you can't leave them out, or I'm sorry, you can't leave them open if it's raining uh, because they don't tilt out. So water could get in, but I like the shades, you know, nice design. They cover the sides well, so they look they look good. I'm a little intrigued by the finishes. This kind of feels like a Formica, but it's like rolled around the corner. So I'm not sure if this is sort of like the, I don't know, wallpaper or stick on stuff like we have in our Ram uh, Thor Talaro 20A. Kind of feels the same. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it feels better. The, no, the, it the does not feel like ours. It feels so way better. The material feels better. I agree with that. But like the fact that I think this is just stuck down because this this line is pretty inconsistent. It's not like, I don't know, routered in there and, and finished. So I don't know, just something I've noticed. Things to look out for. Things to look out for. They, they do have some, you know, decent finishes inside. So they've gone through and, you know, lined all the cabinets. So and I good. would say the size is, is very impressive. Yeah, the, there's definitely a lot of storage because you don't have any underneath, but it's a nice option to have it up above here. So let's see what's in here. This looks like more window shades and it looks like the legs for your table. But it's a really big cabinet. Yeah, good storage size. This is just a little standard microwave. I mean, nothing special. What, what can I say? You have your induction cooktop, which someone's trying to turn on. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, so you do have a refrigerator with an independent refrigerator, or I'm sorry, independent freezer. That's a nice feature, good size. I like the fact that it sits up high so you're not kind of crouched down trying to stuff things in. Just more storage. So this is a really nice feature. I really like this cabinet. It's got some kind of cool storage so you can put you know cans and condiments and things like that. So it's got nice hard shelving so things don't get smashed. We kind of have that problem in ours but uh this is just a, a really nice feature and a nice kinda, use of space yeah that's exactly what i was gonna say it takes up this kind of i don't know small space between your shower and your fridge really nice option cool 
Alright. Let's see, sink. Looks like just a little standard sink, about the same size we have. I would say I like that faucet though. Yes, this this comes out, so it's looks a little more kind of finished. Let's see. Some good storage down here underneath. This is really nice. So they've got kind of that RV drain kind of uh P trap or whatever you want to call that. Cool. That's actually really nice storage for all of you like pots, pans, big stuff. Yeah. And then you got this little drawer here. Uh-huh. All right, so moving on from the living room, bedroom, kitchen area, we're up here, have a lot more space up here, which is nice. You know, Bob and I are both six feet tall. And so even though we love class B's, space is important to us. Um, up here, you have this control center. Oh, wow. Very advanced, at least to me. Looks good. It looks like it tells you everything you would need to know, your house batteries your tanks, the you know, your lighting, your climate, everything. This is nice. I really, really like uh, this screen door because it zips and so you're going to get a complete shutout from bugs. That's important because our van currently, uh, the screen door comes all the way to about right here and we, it leaves a gap. So uh, bugs do get in. But moving on to the bathroom. Nice big doors. I like the mirror right here. Let's see. Let's give you a little real life view of what this bathroom would be like. It is very, very tight, but definitely better than what we currently have. Ours is smaller than this, so the sink is right here. I don't think the sink is necessary if I'm being honest. You got your shower right here. Nice little light right there. Nice big mirror right here. Um, this is really sweet. You can put your soaps and stuff. I like that I can come in the bathroom and, um, you know, get some privacy. Which, you shut up the other way, but that's okay. Let's see what it looks like when I stand up, though. Oh, oh. I literally cannot stand fully up. So, that can kind of be a deal breaker for me. But if you're not as tall as Bob and I, then this would be great for you. I know a lot of our subscribers have the road trek. So if you do, let us know in the comments, what do you love about it? What do you not love about it? Who has it? We'd love to hear how many of you actually have the road trek. All right. Oh, I kind of love this. That is sturdy. Get you in and out. You know, I like that. I don't know. Um, up here you have what we would call a pizza oven, which is storage. It's very small, but looks like I don't know what this is. Promaster carpet mat. Oh, oh, it's the carpet to go up there. You have the seats. This is a Ram Promaster. And so, um, you know, it's a little tighter up here. This is the 2023 Promaster chassis. So it has the nice large screen, kind of some of the upgraded console items, and it has the upgraded transmission. So you'll get a little bit better gas mileage, but all in all, it's a classic Promaster chassis and I think you have more setup. room. Do you or no? I think our seats sit just a little bit higher. I think it is the aftermarket swivels that they put on. The seat just sits a little bit higher and it's a little more awkward, to be honest. Whereas this one, as you can see, has the seat belt integrated into the seat. This is the new 2023 seat. So it is a better seat, in my opinion looks really nice. I mean, I actually like this material. Seems like it's good quality. So the cab, if you will, of this class B, I think is really nice. I do like it. Do you feel like up here is more space? Definitely not. So oh. the Promaster- No, right here, um, where you're at. Well, these lights are new. I mean, it does look nice. This is interesting. This is your power console. So you've got your, your 12 volt system here and your 120 volt breakers here. So this is an interesting place to put this. I've not seen that before. No, that's kind of neat. So all in all, I think this is a pretty nice cab. Upgrades are very nice. I like them. The back, good quality. Interesting layout with the bed that kind of folds from the side versus the back. So that's pretty cool. And they have some nice cabinets that they've kind of, you know, utilized space really well. Um, the bathroom though, I have to admit, it's a little small with the sink kind of over the toilet with over your knees. Not a huge fan of that, but I get it. It's so small that you got to take advantage of every inch you have. Yeah. All right. Should we move outside? Yeah. Let's take a look outside.
Got your heater, propane heater. This is where your black water and gray water connections are. And I'm assuming your water connections, but I actually can't get it to open. Okay. Well, Don't want to break it. Nope. All right. Well, there's only one seat available. So I'll just squat right here. We just wanted to give you our finishing thoughts of this fan. Yeah. I think all in all, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good buy. You know, it's good quality. It's on the ProMaster upgraded chassis. Yep. It's got some really nice features in it. Yeah. And I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Did we tell them how much it is though? I believe this one was 139. Yes. 139? Yes. It is $139,000. Yeah. So you have that in your budget. This might be a good option. I I did I did like this one. I do like yeah. road trucks. We've seen a few today at this RV show and I'm kind of impressed. So let us know. Do you have a road truck? And if you do, give us all the details and how you like it. So if you guys enjoyed our content today, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And then that way you'll get notified when I actually got to click the bell too. Don't forget about that. <laughs> but if you click subscribe and the bell, you'll get notified when new content comes out. That way yeah. you can stay up to speed. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. It helps our channel when you guys press the subscribe button. It's just a free way to help us out. And also, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. So we appreciate you guys. Until next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Sorry, Hillary. You should have to sit on my lap. <laughs> In today's video, we are going to give you our, our, blah, blah, blah.